Consider that Georgia has produced hundreds of world-class doubles players in a century of tennis. So when people talk about Alan Miller like this. The great tennis players coming out of Georgia, I think Alan Miller was probably the best doubles player ever to come from the state of Georgia. Alan, in my opinion, is maybe the greatest doubles player uh, in the history of this state. You know, as a doubles uh, player, he, he was a highlight film. You know he must have been something. And he sure was. From 1982 to 1985, there was nobody any better at doubles than Alan Miller. The lefty was an All-American at UGA all four years. No other Bulldog in any sport had ever done that. He has the best NCAA tournament record of any doubles player in history. Alan Miller was the collegiate version of John McEnroe. Alan had great touch, great feel. He's long, left-handed. Uh, Great volleyer, you know, just understood angles and how to play doubles as well as anybody you've ever seen. He was uh, extremely creative. Uh, he had hands like very, very few. You know, McEnroe is one that you'd recall. He could come up with stuff you were not expecting. And it wasn't the lefty serve, it wasn't the height, it was the fire he played with. He was kind of strong headed uh, and he had to control his temper, but. Uh, it didn't take away from his tennis ability. But, you know, I say he was brash. It was just because he was a fiery competitor. He did not want to lose a point. But I think that's one of the things that made him great. He was a very creative player. Uh, he was a, 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 an energetic player. And he was a player, uh, as a young coach, I was able to kind of just have a little back and forth with. Uh, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of players uh, listen to you and you're not really sure whether your message is getting through or not. Uh, with Allen, it was not the case. He was part of UGA's golden era of tennis excellence, contributing to NCAA team and individual championships in the mid-1980s. He finished his senior year ranked number one in doubles along with Michael Pernfors. I really believe if Allen had decided to go out on the tour with the right partner, he'd have been in the top five in the world in doubles. Excellent singles player, but it particularly for that, a fabulous doubles player. Miller didn't pursue a pro career, deciding to stay in Athens where he became director of tennis at the Athens Country Club, where he remains today. I was actually on the selection committee when we hired him and we must have had a hundred applicants and narrowed down to three or four and he just so clearly stood out. Uh, he, he is extremely bright, which I, I've said many times, behind his back, never to his face, that he could have been a roaring success at any business he went into. A little genius on the tennis court, that's what his coach Manny Diaz calls him. His colleagues call him a consummate professional and a great friend. He has matured into a terrific person. He's done a lot for tennis. He's on the Hall of Fame committee now. You know, he's gone on to do just tremendous things as a role model for kids. He, you know, he can relate to all these kids in, in, in so many levels. Uh, he's a special, special person. And tennis in this state is stronger because of Alan Miller, a worthy inductee into the Georgia Tennis Hall of Fame.